Today, a Russian court denied Brittany Griner's appeal of her nine year prison sentence on drug charges. The WNBA star appearing at the hearing by video conference, and the ruling now puts more pressure on the Biden administration to strike a deal with Russia to bring Griner home, as well as other imprisoned Americans. Correspondent Evan Lambert joining us live now. And Evan, the court's rejection, it was expected. Natasha, yeah, this is not surprising. President Biden coming out today saying that the White House will not stop its efforts to bring Brittany Griner home, urging Russia to negotiate in good faith. And as Griner's lawyers consider whether or not they will try a second appeal, they say that the star's biggest fear is having to serve that whole sentence out in Russia. She had some hopes, and this hopes vanished today. A Russian court denying WNBA All-Star Brittany Griner's appeal today. Her attorney describing the Phoenix Mercury player as disappointed and having had her hopes dashed in the proceeding. The court refusing to modify Griner's sentence of nine years in a penal colony for her July conviction of possession of cannabis oil. Ultimately, the court did make a small adjustment, taking into account time served in the sentence the U.S. Embassy is calling excessive and disproportionate. Today was another sad day for the rule of law in the Russian Federation. Griner appeared via video conference at her appeal from a prison outside the capital. In May, the U.S. government declared Griner wrongfully detained in Russia, saying bringing her back home, along with former Marine Paul Whelan, is a top priority. In July, the U.S. confirmed it made a substantial proposal in the form of a prisoner swap for Griner and Whalen, but said Russia never provided a productive response. Griner's been held for 250 days since her arrest in February at a Moscow airport, just last week spending her 32nd birthday behind bars. If a prisoner swap doesn't materialize, that's where she could serve the rest of her sentence. A State Department report last year described conditions in the system of prison camps in Russia harsh and possibly life-threatening. The report says, quote, overcrowding, abuse by guards and inmates, limited access to health care, food shortages, and inadequate sanitation were common in prisons, penal colonies, and other detention facilities. The WNBA Players Association releasing a statement today pressuring the Biden administration to bring Griner home, saying in part, Quote, this appeal is further indication that BG is not just wrongfully detained. She is very clearly a hostage. And Griner's agent put out a statement this afternoon saying that Griner is being held as a political pawn. The only reason that Russia is keeping her is because she is an American. Natasha. Evan Lambert live for us in D.C. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.